The dream for Fano of Tairawhiti to own their own homes has moved a step closer with the official opening of the Toitu Tairawhiti Built Smart Facility. Associate Minister for Housing Penny Hinari, along with East Coast MP Kitty Allen and Ikaroa Rafati MP Mika Faitari, attended the opening ceremony of the complex on Aerodrome Road in Gisborne on Friday. A porphyry was performed by students from Tekura Kopapa Māori o Nga Uria Māui, Hirota Wānanga, Whatatutu School, Tekura Kopapa Māori o Hawaiki Ho, Manatuki School, Gisborne Girls High, and Campion College to welcome the ministers and other officials to the opening of the facility. The facility has six smart shelters with the capacity to accommodate building 24 affordable homes at once. Four homes can be built in each one of the six smart shelters. The facility will deliver over 50 homes by June next year and it will create 18 full-time jobs and also provide a site for Toitu Tairawhiti Māori cadets to gain building qualifications. Toitu Tairawhiti Housing Limited Managing Director Annette Wehi said it was an awesome day with the sun shining to welcome the opening of the facility. We know that we've got a housing crisis here. What's happened is during COVID we were having our houses built at Built Smart in Huntley and um, we couldn't get them through when Auckland and Hamilton went into that long lockdown and so it was like oh hang on a minute we need to bring some of this work here. So this facility here will have six smart shelters and in those smart shelters they'll be uh, run by one building company from Tairawhiti and they will be able to build four houses at full production, four houses at a time, um, takes eight weeks. So we think that we'll be you know, well, our goal is to have 50 homes out of here from today, October the 28th, to June the 30th. The initiative was the result of addressing the needs for houses in Tairawhiti, she said. Toy 2 Tairawhiti secured up to $4 million in funding from the Kanoa Regional Economic Development and Investment Unit, the RDU Regional Strategic Partnership Fund, to assist with the construction. Toy 2 Tairawhiti also co-funded the remaining $4 million to bring the project to life. The complex in Aerodrome Road is the first built smart facility outside of Huntley. Minister Penny Hinari said the opening of the facility shows how by working together, challenges can be overcome to deliver for Fano. This is exactly what we were saying through our Māori housing strategy, by Māori, for Māori, local solutions that match the area's needs and Toitu Tairawhiti have done a great job to bring all of those aspirations into one space and to allow us to support it. So I'm really excited to see uh, what what's going to be produced through this co-popper. Built Smart Managing Director Phil Leather said it had been a long journey, but the company had been supportive of the co-popper since the day Willie Te Aho arrived in Huntley and wanted to purchase houses. Because we're building them here, the products here in Gisborne, yeah. it's cost too much to transport them from Huntley to Gisborne. So um, yeah, we're building them here. Um, won't be long, they'll be doing probably 100 a year out of here.